Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. And I'm going to try to be more hyper in these videos because my last couple of videos, I don't know why the mic just hasn't been working and the videos have been a lot quieter than I remember them being. So I'm going to try to be really hyper in this video at the same time talking about a certain topic. We're going to be talking about the Brooklyn Nets' fatal flaw. And believe it or not, they actually have two flaws that I would like to think that I would like to talk about. It's obviously not offense. It's all, they have probably the best offense. It's obviously not clutch because they have three clutch players. So let's go. Without further ado, let's just go right. Let's get right into it. Here is a picture of defensive rating. So basically, what defensive rating is? How much points they let the other team get per game? So the Brooklyn Nets are the twenty fourth worst defensive team in the league. You can see one hundred and twelve point nine. So basically, one hundred and thirteen points. But you can take a look at the other teams, Houston, Orlando, New Orleans, Minnesota, Portland, Sacramento. Portland will be in the playoffs. These other teams won't. So coming into the playoffs, Brooklyn will, only, will have the second worst defense in the, all of the playoffs because these other teams wouldn't make it. So say they have to go up against Philly in the conference finals. Who's going to guard and beat or Simmons? Harden is actually a good defender. Don't get me wrong. But I don't think Harden can clamp up and beat and get lit lower um hold him to like forty percent shooting. No, he's and Beatle go off. So that's one thing. And number two is their depth. So let's say theoretically Durant's injured one game because this team's not healthy. As I'm recording this they've only played eleven games no. I don't know, they haven't really played much games together. So say because one of them will probably be injured at all times. Or maybe they're faking injuries, who knows? Say Durant's injured, right? And then Harden's off. All you have is Kyrie Irving. And we obviously see that Kyrie Irving couldn't do it himself. He lost to the Heat. Bam, I about got a buzzer beater. But it's not even just Kyrie Irving. Kevin Durant couldn't do it himself. Kyrie Irving couldn't do it himself. And James Harden couldn't do it himself on their respective teams. So Oklahoma, Boston, and Houston. And now they all team up here to go to a super team. And they would have had Spencer Dinwiddie, which would have cured a lot of problems because they the Nets they wouldn't have to have one player on every time at all times. They could have just had Spencer Dinwiddie running a little bit of time. But Spencer Dinwiddie's out for the whole year. And there's guys like Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan. But the thing is they're good players. Yes, they're good. I guess they were good in their prime. Are they good now is the question. So, would you want Blake Griffin? Just Blake like Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan. Say all three of the big threes are out. Would you want DeAndre Jordan carrying your team to try to beat the 76ers? No, you would not. So, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Again, two main reasons, their defense and their death. And I'm not saying, because most likely, I think that they're faking injuries, like Harden's out indefinitely with a hamstring. I want to bet anything that the minute playoffs start, he's going to come. So, and it won't be likely where all three of them are off. It might just be a short period of time where they're all off. So, yeah, I'm not saying that this isn't making Brooklyn a championship contender. They obviously are. With these big three, with this big three, you have to be a championship contender. But that's going to wrap up my video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe. Remember, this is all my opinion, okay? Don't come at me with the hate, hate comments or anything, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.